much for tuning in. I'm so sorry, I feel like I've been gone forever, but summer is cray cray in the land of a makeup artist. So I apologize for this taking so long, um, but I'm back. So I wanted to do this gorgeous look inspired by this collection from MAC. This is the All About Pink um, look in a box, but for anniversary sale at Nordstrom, they have coral, they have beige, nude, um, purple. Let me see, they give you these little like books, plum. So, super gorgeous, whatever your skin tone is, you can find the right fit for you. What I love about this hot pink lip is that no matter what your skin tone is, everyone can wear it. So, I wanted to do that because number one, I love pink, and number two, hey, gotta spread the love to all. So, if you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button below me, and if you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Thanks, guys. Okay guys, so we are starting out with eyeshadow. Eyes have already been primed and I'm going in with the Fabulous 3, which is what the name of the shadow collection is in the look in the box. It's a pearl fusion shadow. So, I mean, I feel like it's a little bit different than your usual shadows, like super, almost like pressed pigment, gorgeous pearlescent shade. So I took that middle color all over the lid and now I'm taking the beautiful plum color that's in the look and just really concentrating on the outer V of my eye. I don't wanna take it too far in. Um, I'm gonna go in in a second with a, a fluffy blender brush and really let that do a lot of the, the work for me, really diffuse the color and blend, 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 which will wipe emotions. You know how I feel about the blending. <laughs> Okay, you already know, we fancy. So, going back in, blend, 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 back and forth, back and forth. And as you're gonna see, I'm gonna keep packing the color on. So when you're a good blender, when you're someone who's really making sure everything looks flawless and blended out, color gets diffused. So you have to keep packing it back on in the areas that you want it and go back in. You don't have to figure it all out from the get-go, but you have to just keep going back in, being patient and really taking your time to make sure everything looks beautiful. Now I'm going to take the gorgeous eyeliner that's in the collection. This is the Photo Grav Gravure, I don't even know how to say that, Technical Liner. So um, this is a really gorgeous deep brown liner. I'm straying from my usual gel liner, but for good reason, because this is so easy to use, super blendable. You can pack the color on and just really, it just slid across my eye so easily that I think no matter what your makeup experience level is, you can use this and, and it's gonna look flawless and gorgeous and just keep on building up that color. So I'm doing the waterline there as usual because you know I hate the flesh tones and then pulling it up a little bit higher. That's a great thing about these liners is it's custom to you. So if you like a really thin line, go for a thin line. You want a thicker one, you want a cat eye, do your thing, girl. So I'm going in with the brand new Miss Manga. This is an, an awesome new um, mascara from L'Oreal. Um, really like that one and then as you can see, I threw on some falsies on there but this is like I said before this is total personal preference so if you want a thin line and you don't want to put on falsies don't do it girl do whatever works for you so now I'm just sealing on the lash line there and I'm going to go back in with the plum color from the palette because I really want to have that purple effect and I want to just kind of set the liner in place so I'm just taking a little teeny tiny um, uh, smudger brush going right along the lash line there and then I'm going to start to push it up in the corner a little bit more just to kind of blow out that liner so that everything kind of like it goes from a, a more defined line and then just kind of gets slowly blown out towards the end so it's just really really blended and gorgeous and as you can see it's a little sloppy right there so ooh, best friends forever we're taking out the e40 brush and going in there back and forth back and forth blending and just making sure that we have no harsh lines name of the game so just keep on moving that baby around you can add as much color or as little color as you want as i've mentioned five times now already. This is all about your personal preference. So I'm going in with my very favorite concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear. This is NW20. For me, I'm super fair right now. I already, I started out this look with a little bit of foundation on my skin, but not much. And a lot of my redness is popping through. So I want to go back in and really be pretty generous with this foundation. I'm almost using it as my, um, or excuse me, this concealer using it as a foundation because I really want to cut the redness and it just, it's just an awesome, awesome concealer. So I love to kind of spread the spread the love all over my face. So just going in there with the Beauty Blender, push, push, pushing that into the skin and making sure I cut out a lot of that natural redness that you can really see when I don't have my spray tan going and my skin's a little aggravated from whatever I've been doing to it. So 
moving that around and going to set everything with my favorite setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. It's translucent. Everyone from uh, Oprah Winfrey to Nicole Kidman can rock the shade because it doesn't have any pigment in it. It's totally just a setting uh, powder. So I love the way it looks. And as always, we have to do our brows, ladies. We cannot forget the brows. They're so important. So my go-to girl, I love Anastasia of Beverly Hills for everything brow. She's just like the freaking brow queen of the universe. I'm um, using medium ash, medium brown in there, taking the lighter color towards the center of the face and darker color outwards and doing just baby contour here. I'm super fair, so I can't do too much. And this is going to look a little bit aggressive at first, but you know how I love a blender brush, so don't you worry, honey. It's going to look cute when we're done with it. So the Lorac Tantalizer, this is the baked bronzer, has some shimmer in it. So I take that on a brush, light-handed, and kind of start to blend the hula contour and that together, and really get everything in the areas that I want it. And then I take a clean stippling brush, just like the one I showed you there, no product on it, and just move that around the skin. So that's what's gonna start to help it look more skin-like, buff it in, blow it out, make it look like where the sun would sort of naturally kiss my skin. Um, and define the cheekbones. Now, summertime shimmer time look, girl, we gotta go in with a shimmer, bl shimmer block or shimmer brick, whatever you prefer. This is the Pink Mosaic from Laura. This is one of my go-to products for probably the last five years. I don't know, forever. No, longer than that, because I worked for Laura. So girl, this has been my friend for almost a decade. So now I'm gonna go in with, that was the Clinique uh, Cheek Pop Blush Pop Plum Pop. That's all the names that are listed on the back of that there. So you really want to, um, you know, have that bright flush of color on your cheek when we're gonna do the pink lip, as you'll see here in a minute. So then I just took um, the middle shade in the tear duct and then the plum shade under my lash line that didn't get filmed, so I was just pointing to them there and going back in with that eye coal, the deep brown, and going along the waterline, <clears throat> excuse me, just to really seal off the look. Make sure everything looks completed. If you don't want to go this dramatic, you can certainly skip these last steps. This just really takes it to like that glamorous, awesome look. And I love a glamour look. So taking a, a clean brush there and blowing that out underneath so there's no harsh lines. And then going in with a brand new fave for me. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is Whirl um, from MAC. This is a lip liner. This is actually what they say Kylie Jenner is obsessed with right now. So I should have bought this for my last video, but Anyways, we're all, and then, oh, this gorgeous color. This is the Embrace Me Pink color that comes in the set. So beautiful, I just can't even deal with it. And it's a matte shade, so if you wanna go matte, just do this color. You don't have to add anything on top of it. The color pigmentation is so gorgeous. You can wear it by itself, it doesn't need anything additional. Um, but if you wanna um, go in with the gloss that you'll see I'm gonna do next right there, woohoo! Gorgeous shade, this one is called it's a lip gloss unlimited style. So it just really gives you that shiny, glossy, fresh summer look, which I love. And then I'm popping a teeny bit more blush on my cheeks to balance everything out. When you go super bright on your lip, you wanna have the balance on your cheeks too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Love you so much. Bye. Do not adjust your screen. I really am this way. Hashtag Casper. But, why do I keep saying but? Like, but, but, but. Let's keep watching. A fake ass smile. Na 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 diva is a female version of a Stop the track! Look at the roof! Hey guys, look in a box. I got my look in a box. <laughs> Home, all of my change I spent on you. How is this a relevant song? I'm not a payphone out of movie. You may be at a payphone wide awake and sitting on the stuff she's waiting while we are tonight. Nailed it.